France, all headed to see Mikey Wayne. Congratulations to Eric Grongle on that win. That was a very impressive performance on that last lap to get that pass on Steve Roman to secure that championship. Well, championship secured. We're going to see Mikey Waynes, and we go to race number 15 now. The 85, 9 to 13 year old class, and another one of those uh, highly contested one as we look at the results. We see that Christian Pruitt coming away with a win in this 9 to 13 year old class in his division. Colby Lester, the number 11, taking a win in his division. Chase Wolf, the number 13, taking a second. In division racing, Darren Pine, the 58 of the Montgomery, Texas, taking a second. Third's going to Wyatt Duff, the 04 from Lexington, Kentucky, and also a third for Dakota Baker out of Bowling Green, Indiana. Fourth to Gage Brown, the number 12, and to Talon Stanks, the 21, and rounding out the top five in each division was the 52 of Kevin DePino, and as well a fifth place to the 247 of Wyatt Thurman. Gas, gas, and the KTM going at it. Squared off head to head here on lap number one. Number 11, Colby Lester, backed by seven, 100% Bell FMF and Applied Technology. Like, may have secured the lead. Got the number 58 of Darren yeah. Pine in second. Well, I was beginning to second guess myself there for a moment as Pine really rocketing up through the pack right now into that number two spot right basically on the rear fender of your leader now. They drop down into the gator pit. They are nose to tail pretty much through the entire pack. Couple of two wide spots as Riders trying to pass through the pack right now. Lesser, Darren Pine, Jace Wolf, Wyatt Thurman, Brady Olson, Jackson McCarty in sixth, Gage Dub in seventh. Eighth is Tristan Pruitt, ninth Dakota Baker, tenth be Drew Marson. Overall. Oh! That's gracious. Man, what a get off, but. What a get up at the same time. <laughs> Better believe it, man. Barrel roll all the way on that one. And he's waiting to get it back across the track and back on his bike. Colby Lesser, Darren Pine, and Jace Wolf were looking at those riders to finish in the overall like that. If I'm counting this right, Colby Lesser, Darren Pine, Jace Wolf, yes. And Mikey Waynes. It's got three, four, the crown. I gotta ask, is the is the better than the? Oh yeah. Okay, I got you. We'll have to talk. I come up, Mitchell France. We're ready for you. A third place finish, man. Uh, boy, this one was fun to watch. Uh, a third place, man. Who you want to thank, Mitchell? Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe out here. I couldn't have done anything without him. I want to thank my mom and dad. Oh geez. Um, um, Edgewood Farms, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm, this is the first time I've been on the podium, so I just want to thank all my sponsors, everybody out there who's helped me, uh, just all my friends, family. I couldn't have done it with any of them. Well, man, well earned. Congratulations to you. That is your third place finisher, Mitchell France. All right, Robert Piazza going to make his way onto the box, the 637 machine. Putting in the work, finishing in the two spot, man. Uh, congratulations to you, man. I know you wanted, I know you wanted that first place. Uh, what was, what's going through your head, man? Uh, I just need to get a start, man. I called both the leaders and just gonna get around them, gonna make it happen. My arms pumped up a little bit, and uh, yeah, we're just full send at that mode. Happens, buddy. Who you want to thank? Uh, my girlfriend, my dog, my whole family, my friends are watching. Um, shout out to 60, 100%, Fly Racing, Deaf Family. Uh, MX Boo, everybody helping me out. You can hear my dog down there barking, but uh, <laughs> thanks again, everybody. Cheering. Dogs cheering. I love it. I'm here for it. Robert Piazza, your second place finisher. All right, Eric Grondel, I don't think I've seen anybody as fired up as this man. Going 1-1 one, one here in the Junior 25 Plus. I'm going to step behind the machine. Come on back here, man. I'm going to hand you some champagne. Mike Burkeen got the number one plate for you. And I know this man is going to be stoked to have that in hand. Make some noise for him. <laughs> Eric Grondel, has it set in yet? No, not yet. 
Man, you were stoked coming off the track. What, what, did it, what does it mean to you to go 1-1 one, one out there? I mean, I've never had any results like this here before, so this is just absolutely amazing. Well, I know you don't do it alone, buddy. Who you want to thank? Oh, I got to thank my wonderful girlfriend, our son Landon, buddy Jake for helping me out this week, Zaffle, Adept, Factory Moto Lab, Alias Gear, Factory Connection for having my bike dialed in, 6D helmets, Alpine Stars boots, and Scott goggles for keeping my vision nice and clear. Congratulations to you, man. One more job to do. You got to pop some bottles up here on the podium. Your winner, Eric Grondel. Back to you, Rodney. Well, thanks a lot, Mackey Waynes. And uh, there you go, my friends. Colby Lesser, Darren Pine, Wyatt Thurman, Tristan Pruitt, Gage Dunham. Still your top five after two and working on three right now. It may sound a simple feat, but it is still a battle before us. Lesser is still the number one spot, but Pine is not far off the pace. He was less than a second behind at the end of lap two. Might be a little more than that now, but not much as they check in with lap three complete. A two-minute point zero seven six for Colby Lesser. A two-minute point four four two. So the gap now has extended to 1.1 seconds. So only about three tenths of a second difference there on the, after that lap. 317 Tristan Pruitt now in third. Wyatt Thurman is fourth. Gage Dunham is still back in the number five spot with Brady Olson, Dakota Baker, Talon Staggs, Max Bowling, and Wyatt Duff rounding out the top ten. Say Duff and the yeah, Wyatt Duff rounding out the top ten now on the 04 machine. Had his hands full back there. Had a little bit of a battle this whole race. Hadn't really had that space to get out and start working. The man on the move right now is Tristan Pruitt, yeah. our Moto One winner. Yeah, 158.8. It's actually two seconds faster, nearly two seconds faster than Colby Lesser, your leader right now. It's got some work to do. I mean, Pine's not going to be an easy, easy pass, and neither will Lesser. These boys all riding very strong. They'll rise to the occasion, that's for sure. Three laps down on this one, working on lap number four. There is Tristan Pruitt we're watching on the Racer TV screen. And you see it's all just ahead of him, second and first place position. And they are tightening up quite a bit. Looks like Pine is putting that pressure back on. Let's see if he's been able to chip away much of that lead down this front stretch. Oh, yeah, he has. Oh, not only does he chip it away. Oh, I thought he had to pass. Wow. He had the inside line. And if he, oh, he might have it here. He might have got the drive. Mine's coming back up the inside. Wow, I thought that he might be able to get that drive. Just couldn't make that uh, drive out. But wow, he wants this and he wants it bad. He's about to take it if he has anything to say about it. Here he comes back down to the inside. Gets a good drive. Here we go. And I believe that is Pine into the lead. Wow. That was impressive. And here comes third place now, Tristan Pruitt. And Pruitt's going to on the outside. Is he going to get a boat? No, a little off, a little wide there. Got a little out of shape. Yet didn't lose much time, but just enough to let those guys rest some. Yet another race where we have a three-rider battle for the lead. This is a very good race. It's 85, 9 to 13 class. White flag lap. Four laps down, working on lap number five. Pruitt on the outside of Pine now. Did he make that pass? Pruitt coming right back at him. Yeah, Lesser, sorry about that. <laughs> Pruitt goes around Lesser on the, the, the straightaway by the road. Man. So, again, Lesser, second pine in first, and, well, Pruitt putting that pressure on that could be changing here pretty soon as well. Yeah, I thought Pruitt was going to make a little quicker move right there. I thought he was he was setting something up there and it yeah. kind of stabilized. Keeps up. Well, he's been on the charge. And like Cody said, I mean, he, we saw him in, in, in that last time around even, a 157.6. He was two to three seconds faster than the riders ahead of him. We got Darren Pine and Tristan Pruitt coming down to the wire here. Darren Pine's out front. Tristan's in second. Let's we'll see how this goes down in the bottom of the corner. Right now it looks like Darren's going to have this. 
One last right-hander is all it took. Darren Pine had to defend. And he puts himself out front. That gives him the checkered flag. Now, as far as the overall is concerned, Darren Pine will take the overall with that win. Tristan Pruitt will then be second overall. That will drop Colby Lesser into the number three position overall, finishing third. So basically what you see right there is the overall between those guys.